Good day everyone. In this video, we will learn how to configure attendance and take attendance for each lesson or for every lesson we take. Now, you check if you check this bar, this vertical bar by the left, you see your attendance. You see attendance. Let me take it down. You see attendance. Look at the attendance. Now, what if you don't find the attendance there? What if the attendance is, is not there? It means you have not uh, checked it. It is we have not checked it from the settings. So click on admin or take your mouse pointer to the admin. Then go to tabs. Go to tabs. So everything you see here, if you uncheck anything here, you will not find it here. You will not find it on this bar. And if you check it, you find them here. So now there are about three millions or four millions of communication here you have news you have a forum you have news you have forum you have chat uh, you have chats so but the only real one that is the real time one is chat that is it is true chat that you send message instantly and receive message and receive a response instantly if the person did a reply if the person does a reply but for other ones you may get it immediately you may not get it immediately that is for news and forums now attendance is checked so i don't need to bother myself about it because i can even find it here so if this this is unticked this will disappear so now my attendance is there so click on it it will take you to this new page this page so now we don't have anything here and we'll go and add the attendance so we click on add let's assume the date is 27 that is when i'll be having the lesson july 27 uh, 2020 and the time is 4 53 pm then you click on save you click on save see the attendance here so this is attendance against um see these symbols against each name so now see on top here you have present you have absent you have arrived late you have left early with the symbols for each or that represent each so you just simply uh, take your mouse pointer to this and you continue clicking until you get the appropriate symbol for the for that particular student so you click click continue click until you get the appropriate symbol okay so now this is it so this four columns here one two three four gives you the frequency of each of this pre of each of this that is present absent arrive late left early it gives you the frequency that is how many times for the whole of your lesson maybe at the end of the term or at the end of the week or at the end of the month it gives you the frequency of each of these symbols or, or of each of these acts because they are all acts present absent arrive late left early now let's assume you have another lesson maybe um, another day again it's uh, you go and add so you click on add click on add this add here like this and then you select your date again the date you'll be having the lesson and the time so you click on done by the time you set that and then you save this is optional that is the finished date and if you like you can mark or present if you are very sure you can mark or present so now look at what happened it means this first column here after all these symbols after the the frequency table uh, columns the, the the next um column will be for the present uh, lesson or attendance meaning the new attendance will push the old ones all the old ones to the right so now you do the same here here also do the same do the same here do the same here so now that is it the attendance for 28 july 2020 this is when i want to add more so you just go to add you go to add so this is let's say this is on target let's say this is on target i'm already done with the class and i want to take attendance so you click on done and then you save so this attendance you may take it from the beginning of the class or after the class depending on how you um you'll be able to track the student uh, correctly so now this is what i have i'll do the same for them again same for this same same for this one continue click until you get the appropriate symbol okay so now that is that now everything you have done here is already saved once anything you click here you do, so there's no save 
is already saved it is saved automatically and it's down here now let's assume you want to delete um you want to delete one of these attendants maybe you made a mistake uh, maybe you just don't like it or you don't want it okay so what do you do you click on this triple arrow you can mark up present or you can clear everything that is all the marks all the the, the, the symbols here you can clear all of them is that okay you can clear all of them and you can also delete you can also edit you can edit the date maybe you made mistake before instead of uh, 29th you wrote 30th you can edit and put the date there or you can delete the whole column so you click on delete so 30th will disappear now okay gone so I, now, I'm now left to 28 and 27. So now, this attendance here, if you want to make use of it like this, you can go to export. If you want to make use of it offline or you want to send it to somebody or your superior or your supervisor, so just click on export and then you have it in Excel format and, for, and it is ready for your consumption. And if you like, also you can click on summary or get the summary of everything instead of all those symbols everything together like that you can just get a plain summary like this if you need it offline also you export you export also and you maybe rename it or leave it like that and send it to whosoever is in need of it or keep it with you if it is for your own personal uh, consumption so that is that about attendance. Now let's assume I want to clear the whole attendance. I don't need the, I don't need the attendance. So what do I do? I will delete everything. So delete this. Click on OK. Delete this one also. Click on OK. So it will take us back to the previous page now. Okay, everything deleted. So attendance is gone. If you want to add a new one, you can always click on add here. And that is how to take attendance. And um, remember also that the only means of communicating, real-time communication with your student is, um, is through chat. Is through chat. That is the only way you send message instantly and get feedback instantly provided the network is very, very strong. So how do you do, um, and the best way is for you to always direct the student to the chat room, most, most usually for the first lesson or the first content of your lesson, direct them to the chat room so that they will say, um, indicate their presence. And if you need the time, each of them respond. If you need the time of their response, you can just click on the chat, then go to um, transcript, chat transcript on top there you see chat chat transcript chat transcript okay this one has not been configured yet that's the reason why i can't find it um you see chat transcript it is if aha so this transcript will be here by the time you click on it you see the time each of them responded and then you can um maybe use that to take your attendance possibly so all the messages will be here and then those people who attended the chat who attended the chat room will be here if you need to configure this again or you want to delete you can always click on this if you like this video please click on um if this helps solve your solve your problem please click on like and also subscribe Again.